Swinburne University of Technology has been leading research and development into steel construction for many years. Our focus has been on structural connections, strengthening and rehabilitation of steel structures, and application of coal-formed steel in buildings. Our efforts with our industry partners and fellow researchers from other institutions led to the development of innovative products as well as a production of codes of practice that are used by design engineers and suppliers. Key objectives of such developments are enhancing the safety and resilience of our structures while achieving higher environmental sustainability goals. In this video, we provide examples of recently completed projects. I hope you find this summary useful and we look forward to sharing further resources with you. Steel is one of the most important building materials, offering construction speed, reliable performance, and great environmental benefits as steel can be recycled easily. Some of the world's iconic steel structures include the Empire State Building constructed in 1931 to the iconic Beijing Spread Nest completed in 2008, which is currently the largest steel structure in the world with 42,000 tons of steel. That's equivalent to the weight of some 7,000 elephants. Connections in steel structures are integral for the safe and reliable performance of steel structures. In recent years, modular construction, which is used to describe prefabricated building units in large volumetric components, has become increasingly popular with mass production in factories utilizing steel as the primary building material. Light gauge steel, also known as coal foam steel, is light yet strong and can be easily shaped into different profiles and shapes, enabling the fast production of modules, maximizing structural performance, and with its lightweight properties, providing ease of transport and lifting. The modules can be delivered ready on site with internal fittings and facade. Modules are connected side by side, next to each other, and then stacked level by level to form a building, massively reducing construction time on site. In this video, a seven-story apartment building was completed in 11 days in Melbourne, Australia. So why modular construction? Modular construction can offer many advantages as compared to on-site construction, such as optimization, quality control in factory production, waste control in factory for environmental sustainability. One major challenge for modular steel construction remains in the connection between individual modules. Let us look at recent developments to address this issue. So over the past 10 years, the researchers at Swinburne University of Technology have looked into the limitations that preventing the progress of modular construction industry. There are two big problems that are not properly solved at the moment. They are the need for bespoke solutions for module development and connection method are limited by bolted joints. So uh, the underlying philosophy and thinking the research team has used is to learn from automotive industry. The introduction of innovative universal boltless connection, we call it the UBC. So the connection is a very simple uh, device which is operated uh, via a series of uh, pins that are operated remotely from the top of the module. Uh, you can develop family of these connections with different uh, structural duty requirements. In steel construction and engineering, architects and building owners have long sought spacious column-free interiors. But achieving this has often required extensive welding and costly quality control measures. We have developed innovating structural systems for low to mid-rise buildings using moment-resisting frames with blind bolted connections. These connections eliminate the need for on-site welding, making construction more efficient and cost-effective. 
blind bolted connections offer a game-changing solution by providing a cost-effective and efficient alternative to welding our blind bolted connection offer architects and building owners the freedom to design and construct modern spacious buildings without compromising on structural integrity steel connections are not only for connecting building components but also for connecting personal safety harness for dock workers. One such example is this steel anchor here that has been used across shipping docks in Australia. This is a solid piece of metal that workers have to lug around their backs while climbing up and down ladders and often in wet and slippery conditions. The shortfall of this anchor, apart from being heavy is it does not positively lock, which implies probability for the lock to become disengaged. And nor does it has a visual indicator to let workers know that it is securely fastened. A new anchor has been developed at Swinburne University to address the shortfall of the current anchor used by dock workers, thus improving safety and efficiency of anchorage system for workers on shipping ports.